Hello there guys, Matt here. Welcome back to another FSX video. We're back in the Majestic Q400 in the Euro Lot repaint. We're actually on the ground at Warsaw at the moment and we're going to fly up to... Um, I'm not actually sure what the place is called. It's like Bornheim Island or something? I don't really know. Um, it's it's a, it's an airport in uh, in Copenhagen. So as always, I'm actually going to show you the planning. Oh, there you go. Born home is what it, or home, somewhere like that. Yeah, we're not going to attempt to pronounce it. It's on Vatsim, uh, but I'm going to show you the planning process uh, for a change because you never usually get to see that. So let's jump over to PFPX and we'll uh, we'll sort this out. Excuse my voice today. My throat is absolutely nailing me. Feels like I've swallowed like a bowling ball or something. But anyway, let's go. Okay, so here is PFPX. So we're going Eurolot ELO, and it's flight number three eight zero from EPWA to EKRN. There you go. It's not very far at all. Uh, let that compute it. The commercial flight number is K two three eight zero, and it's a international. We'll use uh, non scheduled because this isn't really that real. We're in Sierra Papa Echo Quebec. Alpha, which is the registration of the Dash 8 that we've got, and we can let it randomize the payload, and we can also let it find the route, and there it is. So the Olil 4 Kilo, is that how it's pronounced? Olila, sorry, Olila 4 Kilo, and then the Lima 621 down to Romeo Oscar Echo. Good stuff. Find a destination alternates as we do and then we can compute the flight good stuff right we can send this to VATSIM we can release it first and then we can send this to VATSIM so I can pre-fly it there uh, pre-file it even uh, and it just needs some of my details which is the file flight plan there we go sorted so we connect to ZLO 380 and then we have got the flight plan so I will also save this on my desktop and let's see what sort of fuel it gives us so we are taking 2.2 tons out with a zero fuel weight of 25.823 I'll set that in the Majestic Load Manager and then the next time you see this we will be in the flight deck and prepping to go okay so we've loaded everything we are in the flight deck and now I guess it's on to setting everything up so it's been a while since I've been in the Dash 8, so let's turn these things on. That would probably be a good start. And we can also turn on the radios. That's good. Make sure we have lights, position, uh, belts, fasten seat belts, all the usual stuff. Uh, we can put that onto main bus tie. I'm probably doing this all completely wrong, but it's what I remember. And that is completely fine by me. So, we have all the data. Oh, okay. Except that. Okay, so flight plan. We are from EPWA to. Uh, actually, we can. I'll do it in one go. So we'll depart runway 33 on the that one, number 4, flight plan and then from here we'll delete that and then we'll put in the Lima 621 which is here and it's raining really badly outside it's kind of annoying to 17 row and then from there we are into EG uh, is it KN? no RN Romeo November accept good stuff uh, we can put the arrival in actually, so arriving into runway 11 on the other end. Uh, there's no star, and oh, it's, there's an ILS, nice, good. It's easy for me. Uh, transition, I'll select one, but that'll probably change. Right, okay, 
we can uh, we can run with that as far as the flight plan goes. Fuel, well, we have a basic weight today of the top of the flight plan, seventeen five two three, and we have seventy two people on board. Cargo is nineteen hundred and thirty three. Okay, alternate we have of 403, and there's nothing else as far as hold fuel goes. Uh, nope, oh, 75. There we go. Okay, fuel on board, we have 1065 on each side. There we go. That is good. We are good. We'll go to nav. Actually, we'll direct to Warsaw and activate that. And we'll come over here, we'll accept that, and we'll cross fill everything. And we'll just delete that message. Uh, so now we should have the ability to go direct to there and then put that back into nav mode, which is already in. Good stuff. Okay, that's that bit done and out of the way. So the heading, we can bug to heading 330. I don't know what's going on there on the ND, but we'll just pretend that that exists. Heading of 330. There we go. And altitude, well there's no ATC on at the moment, so we'll just go all the way up to flight level 240. Two four zero. There it is. And nav source can come onto my side on that one, and over there on that one. Okay. Speeds are in the form of one hundred and twenty one, one hundred and twenty one, and one hundred and thirty. With one three nine and one four six three nine and one forty six. There we go. They're all set. Right, the weather here, uh, the Q and H, is one zero one five, which we can set there one zero one five, and we'll set. Actually, we'll get rid of the decision height. We'll set a decision altitude of a K above, so 1,370 feet, which is done. Okay, nice. Well, that is me ready to go. As far as where we're going to go from here, I suppose I better start the APU actually. Get that ready to go. Now, this scenery is not like payware or anything, I don't think. Maybe it is. Oh no, this is. Yeah, there you go. It's mkstudios.com. That's apparently the scenery. Uh, which means that I'm not sure if the charts will be any good, but we will see. They may be fine. So we can get a taxi out to runway uh, 33. Let's check where we are. I have a feeling we're up on the domestic side. What stand number is that? Th there's no stand numbers, so I can't really tell. It, hang on, let me, let me cheat and look in spot view. Where are we? There's a big sticky out bit. Okay, I know where we are. Yeah, I know where we are. So runway 33 is obviously the furthest runway away, as in everything when I'm trying to do things in a hurry. Uh, so we can shut the door. And what else can we do? We can push back, I guess. Is APU on? Yes, it is. Good, good, good. Bleeds, a min, and off. Recirc fan can come on for now. Uh, external power can go off now. We didn't even have external power to start with, so that's always fun. We can switch to 122.8. We can try to anyway. One, two, two, that's not right. Good stuff. Right, we will get the uh, the pushback underway. So we'll want to go straight first of all. 
I'm going to turn that down a well, little bit. We are ready for pushback. We are ready now. That's okay. Okay, so we want the beacon to go on, which is red. I can put the logo light on. Everything else is ready, as far as I can see. Put the anti skid on. Let's go. Push back. Parking brakes released. Pushing back now. You're clear to start the engine number two. Okay, we can start number two. So, right select, start it. The way it goes. Okay, parking brake set. Parking brake set. Can we get clearance at number one? Starting number one. Bleeds can come on now. Bleeds can stay on min though. Very good. Okay. So, flap 5 would be nice. I didn't do the hydraulics check, so let's just pray to God that that's all fine. Okay. I think we are ready to go. Gus slot can remain in. So, out to runway 33, so we've got to take the first left all the way to the end, and then left again. Bump, 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 bump. Maybe I haven't set easy dark up properly with this thing. It might just like glitch out when we take off. Which would be kind of sad, but oh well. So this is apparently Zulu Bravo 1 maybe, or Zulu 1. And then when we get to the end, we turn left onto Alpha. And then all the way to the end. Yeah, there's Alpha 3 now. So we turn left here on Alpha and then all the way. Take like six years to do. Okay, so all the checks are done. We are pretty much ready to go now. I figured we don't need to go all the way to the end of the runway, so I'm just going to take the next ride and go from there. Um, thinking if anything else needs to be done. No, everything's pretty much set. Your damper's on. All the toga thing go around mode has been selected the weather radar is having a fit so I'm just going to turn that off for now 
take this next right here Alpha 7 Alright, let's do this. Start the clock, put the lights on. I don't know why the taxi light wasn't on, it flicked back off, that was weird. Uh, yeah, everything's good. Gus lock out. Spoilers to flight. Let's go. Water throttles armed. There we go. Through 80 knots. The tractor's on the right there. <laughs> B1, rotate. You're up. Yeah, I didn't fix the easy dock thing. I'd need to do that ASAP. Nice bit of wind. Right, we'll stick it in IAS mode for this one. Autopilot nav. And from that, we are going to go direct to 8. Yeah, there we go. There's no ATC, might as well make the most of it. Get out of here as quick as we can. Oh, and the rain has miraculously stopped. That's nice. This is, um,. Wow, okay. <laughs> this is a mixture of Orbex uh, land thing, Europe LC, and I have something called Warsaw City by the company that I can never pronounce. Look at that though. That looks beautiful. Um, We've like frozen in midair. Okay, we're going again. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? that? That was rather weird. Looks so incredible. Probably need to put some form of anti-ice on actually. Um, we'll put that on norm. We'll put that on. Put those off. Uh, we'll put that on to fast actually because it looks like we're about to get nailed. Right, let's IAS increase. Let's do about 185 in the climb. with that we can indeed bring the flaps up. This scenery though is incredible. There goes the flaps. See them coming in there. Wow. So this Europe stuff was worth it. <laughs> Look at that. I didn't even realize that it would be this detailed. I mean, for the price of it, I expected a lot less, to be honest with you. Oh my god, my first officer's window is getting nailed. Captain's window, even. Look at that ice! Well, rip. Should probably do something about that, actually. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Um, okay. Let me just open these vents. <laughs> and let me... Uh, I don't even know why they... Why did I turn these off? I have no idea what I'm doing. This is always fun. When you don't understand things properly and you still try them. Turn the landing lights off anyway. I can do that much. Um, the props are still at max RPM. So let's fix that. There we go. This window though. This window. Q 
Q&H we can set to 1013, back to standard, good stuff. I guess his side now can go onto the nav page so we can see where he's going. Go direct to 8 on that as well so we can see both. Wow, this turbulence is real. I just want to climb above it, and that's all I want. Look at that! The weather! Oh my god, we're through the rain, but this thunderstorm now is real. Look at those cloud layers! Jeez, man. Oh my god. Maybe we should have postponed this flight for another day. I still can't get rid of the mist on the side of the windows. And the engine is just like hardcore iced up, and the wings are. I'm pretty much going down. Look at it, it looks like it's about to fall off. Oh well. I think I, it might need a little bit of rudder trim actually. Uh, I'll give it a bit of right trim. See if that'll count. Yeah, there you go. That's more like it. Through flight level 150 and it's still not showing any signs of budging. This is a little bit scary, not gonna lie. Oh well, at least the sun's out up there. <laughs> Good old Poland. Okay, the ice has disappeared now. So, with 1,000 feet to go... Ugh, I don't know. Are we out of the... No, we're not. We're still in the weather. This is crazy. It looks like we are going to be cloud surfing all the way. All the goddamn way. Just look at that weather out the front. That is insane. It's also a very good thumbnail, so yeah. Screenshot time. It's been a long time since I've met weather like this in Flight Sim. It has been a long time. If this is legitimately what it's like right now, in real life, I feel sorry for you. Because it's nasty. It's real nasty. I can't even demiss the windows. It's, it's just nailing me. I tried everything and it's just it's not doing it, so... Maybe I need to warm them up. Maybe that's what I need to do. I'm not even sure if they'd fly in weather like this. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. It's crazy, I know that much. Just look at that. Just look at the wing getting nailed. Okay, so we've managed to get rid of most of the terrible weather, which was interesting. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty much clear now, thankfully. Just left the coast of uh, northern Poland. Uh, we're just crossing the border now into, uh, into Denmark. Probably should start to descend very soon, so uh, we'll have a look at VNAV and see what VNAV wants us to do. So if we say we want to be, let's see, 3,000 feet maybe at the center fix, or 2,000 feet, I can deal with that. Where is our top of descent? Yeah, let me try that again. Five, and then that. Target VS2 low, okay. So let's try, I don't know, 2,500 feet. Target VS2 low, okay. Let's try 3,500 feet. And it's still too low, okay. So what we'll do then is we'll IAS mode it. 
I will idle the power. As far as flight idle will go. We'll let it descend, we'll reset the altitude. 3,000 feet, something like that. I was just looking at the chart for the approach. Uh, it's an ILS approach, we're only 1-1. But really, um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to fly to the north east I think so currently this is going to fly us to the overhead and then it's going to make us do a procedure over the top so what I'm going to do I think from Lusted is I'm going to just fly kind of northwest-ish and then just spin it around over the uh, over the island it's a really clear day it's not anywhere near as bad as it was when we departed from Warsaw so you can see there the sun reflecting off the water it looks really nice so it's going to be uh, definitely a visual approach so that's what we'll shoot for but we'll just keep it coming down with the altitude and we'll just see where we are at which point I'm, I'm really not too fussed right now I just need to set some speeds uh, which is 122 and 127 the go around or the decision altitude for here is uh, 250 feet if we're using the ILS. We're not. We're just going to do a circle approach. So we can circle at 500 feet minimums, which is easy. There you go. So we'll just keep nailing the speed down. See, I can increase the IAS. That will give us a, a greater rate of descent. There we go. Actually, if we just go direct to, uh, where can we get away with going direct to? <sighs> Let's see. You can go direct to 15. That will put us over the top of the field. And then we can just break off before that. Uh, flight plan page. We can get rid of this, although it might break it. No, it's fine. There we go. And then we just have to go back to uh, 15 again, and it will put everything back in. There we go. Sweet. Okay. So, we're in the descent. It's actually quite nice out now. Look at that. I love how the sun reflects off the water. It's really cool. The only thing that's really good in DirectX 10 nowadays, now the DirectX 10 fix is gone. I'm so sad that that, that DirectX 10 fix has gone, by the way. You have no idea. It's just, it's a tragedy. It doesn't make any sense. I need to reset the, uh, the trim as well on the rudder. There we go. Okay, so we're just approaching the airfield now. So we were landing in... Uh, on this runway here, kind of facing in the opposite direction of us. So, I'm going to get rid of the autopilot, I think. Yeah, there we go. And I'm just going to break to the right. I'm just going to fly a, a visual pattern and just descend at the same time. Pretty simple stuff. It's a beautiful day out. There's no real reason. We're going to be using flap 35, by the way. It's a pretty short runway, so it would make sense to do that. There we go. We can get rid of the uh, flight director as well on my side. I do not need it. Lights are on. Put the props now actually back to uh, max RPM. Can inhibit that. We don't need that. It's all good. Oh, okay. Need to be able to silence that. There's the airfield. Very, very small. It's a shame we're not landing on runway 29 because it's just vacated the end. Start to slow down in a minute. Okay, so flap 5. And we'll chuck the gear down with that. Whip it around quite quickly. This scenery is really nice. Maybe I should use that little bit of a harbour over there as a turning point. We might not need to, actually. Miles. 
thousand feet. I'll do. Just level here for a little bit. Dump all the flaps out now. On the turn, we can spin it around. There's the runway. A little bit high, but we can lose that soon. Here it is. Stonking wind from the left. I see the shadow of us then on the sea. That looked pretty cool. ignore the pappies we've got an amazing amount of altitude we can lose really quickly in this thing start to ride all the power now and watch it just sink that crosswind watch the speed please 100. Get down. There we go. And then an easy dock, of course, sticks to the ground. Oh my god. I really need to fix easy dock. I really do. Next time I do a dash flight, that is my number one goal before I start it. Is to fix easy dock. Go slot. That turn. There we go. Sweet. Wow, well, we're down in one piece. I guess that's all that matters. I'm not sure if we actually are legitimately down in one piece. It was a pretty hard landing. But it'll do. It will do. I'm happy with that. We can vacate here. Very good. I have no idea where I meant to park, to be fair. I guess we will figure that out. Right, get rid of the lights without right clicking FSX. Good job. Uh, everything is good to shut down. I just need to park on stand. Of course, we need to bring the flaps up. That would be a good idea. Okay, so how do we park this thing? Um, is it just straight in, or is it like a a loop around the stand? We'll go on stand two because it's right in front of me. Yeah, it's a loop around the stand, isn't it? Hallelujah. This is always fun. So where's the nose wheel meant to stop? Oh my god, it's actually there. Okay, cool. So what I need to do is brake, 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 brake. Let it swing right out. And then about there, just nail it all the way around. Bit of power would be good. And then use that stand up ahead of us as a guide. There we go. I'm hoping that that 
Is that parking brake set? There we go. Parking brake set. Fingers crossed that that is actually okay. We can uh, cut the fuel. There we go. Let's have a look outside. Oh, not bad. I was a little bit off. A little bit off. That's not a bad effort though actually, I'm pretty impressed with that. Anyway, get rid of the engines in a bit. There we go, done. Right, there we go. A Dash 8 flight in the bag. I'm so rusty on this, it really annoys me. This is what happens when you fly so many aircraft in one, well at once. You kind of forget the the finer points, so to speak. But yeah, this is cool. This is, uh, this is cool scenery, it's a good aircraft, it's good to fly, I just need to get better at it. I hope you indeed enjoyed yourself. If you did, let me know. If you think I'm a massive idiot, then tell me, as you uh, like to do sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, until the next video, take care everyone, and thanks for watching. See you later. Bye now.